Hi, uh, this is Srinivas Tamada, founder of Nihilism.info. This video is about how to update your Angular 7 uh, project into an Angular 8. Recently, Angular has been announced uh, version 8 with minimal changes, like some of the uh, routes has been changed and they improved the compiler. And you can read this article, it's blog.angular.io. You will understand what are the updates they came up. And if you see my previous article, like I posted about lazy loading, uh, how to do lazy loading for your Angular project. So now the Angular 8 came up, so I need to update this project with the latest uh, way of doing it. It's very simple steps to do it, and the same way I'm going to explain how to update your Angular uh, 7 to 8. There is a small application here, update angular.io. You can see the instructions when you uh, select the options and you will see what are the things you have to do and there are some tricks I found uh, when I'm doing this update so let's see how are we going to do this uh, update basically uh, or if you have angular 6.2 you can do that so let's the same project like I updated here like if you see give something else you can see the basic routing and I explained those things in here, like you can follow this series and you will understand more about this low lazy loading concept. Uh, but not, right now I'm just checking out this project and I'll explain you how to update with Angular um, 8, like git clone. And uh, I'm just checking out the project and uh, make sure uh, you have to update your node uh, version to the latest one. Uh, if 11. Point uh, some plus is fine but this angular 8 is recommending you have to use the 12 plus version so try to update this and it, it of course updates the npm too and the same way like you can go to the angular uh, cli and update your cli version too uh, basically you can use like ng version so you have to update it to 8 uh, sometime it is 7 also fine uh, mine updated recently to 8 if not try to execute this and it automatically updates you to the latest one so now uh, look at this it's still downloading it yeah and this has got downloaded and uh, let's uh, go to the project yep uh, I'm just opening this project with the uh, visual code now if you check the package.json everything with uh, 7 uh, but make sure like uh, cross verify your angular CLI because I haven't updated this project from the long time so try to update this with the standard version of 7 so that uh, the 8 updates will take very easily otherwise you have to do it again this one so try to update this and now uh, give npm install so this will take a couple of minutes to download all the dependencies for this project. So later like then we can execute the angular 8 commands so that you will understand more. Yeah now the package has been updated let me uh, run the project like uh, ng serve or npm run start also you can do that. So let's close this and open the new tab. Yeah, now the project is running okay. Uh, let me open that project in the localhost 4200 and see how that works. Uh, let's see all the pages are loading good or not. I think it looks like sign up got messed up. Uh, let me quickly open the sign up. Uh, what is the problem we need to see? Uh, looks like I haven't imported the forms module. And let's see, and is there anything messed up? Yeah, it looks like I added a path here. It should be an empty one. Yeah, I didn't update things from long time. Let's see. Uh, it's again, it's compiling, and uh, yeah, now the sign up page has come up. And all looks good. Uh, let me go to the project and see. And if you see the inspect element, uh, there is a agory, and uh, you will see the how the pages are loading uh, in a lazy way. But if you see this, this is 7.2. Now we are going to update to the 8. So that's what the step we are going to perform now. Let me uh, stop this project. Uh, the first step is like we need to execute 
uh, the command called uh, ng update let me clear off everything like ng update and then give you have to update the angular cli in the same way angular core so this will automatically this command will automatically take care of all other things to uh, take care of like seven seven to the eight uh, let's see how how things going to change yeah it looks like uh, i got some some issues uh, let me update everything with uh, seven and see is there anything like you know lower version Yeah, uh, I got some error. Looks like uh, this plugin got uh, very outdated. Uh, let me go to that and find out what is exactly that. So this is the one, and if you install the version control, it will pops up with the latest one. So let me update with the new one and see how this is going to take now. Yeah now, <clears throat> yeah, now try to execute this command to update to angular rate. Now say so ng update like at the rate angular CLI and angular core. This will actually prompt you if, if any problem with any version, like you can uncommand that and uh, you can try. Looks like this is not supporting for it. Uh, let me delete it off for now and then we'll see we'll try to execute that this command basically uh, take care of everything to update automatically yeah if you see now uh, it automatically uh, taking care of everything if you see now package.json to update it with all the eight and the same way it will update all other stuff and we'll see if what we dropped off is really needed or not we'll see if anything wrong then we can see try to include it again with the latest one uh, anyway i'll make a note of it like i'll keep it here 
to see uh, we need it or not for future use and this will take care of like basically the app has all the the basic files like kind of the main dot ts the structures will change like ts config file all these things is going to update and the same way it perform the npm install and uh, it it updates the node modules too yeah uh, looks like everything got updated and if you see these are the things it automatically take care of and it deleted few of things and created some new files and the same way it prompt you if anything wrong i think that this found with one vulnerability so let me give uh, npm audit fix with the force command so this will automatically update the other any dependencies like karma or other things because it's completely outdated like i'm use i'm updating from 6 to 7 and 7 to 8 now so this will take care and it will give you the information like if everything is clear or not yep almost everything looks good let me see ng's npm run start and uh, this has got recompiled and uh, let's see the same uh, application now and see uh, how that works and if you see enable the agri and see it is 8 now and if you see the routing uh, all looks good but uh, if you see like all looks good uh, with the old code i mean the old code is so now we need to update the routes when a new standard if you see the angular 7 to 8 documentation so instead of loading direct path uh, we need to change it to the promising way so that way like when you so but anyway right now it is supporting both the ways but when you update to the 9 uh, so this is the standard way of doing it the lazy loading so better So better we can do it now. So that's what I'm going to update now. So this is the old way of writing. And uh, now we are going to modify this with. Uh, now we are going to modify with. Now we are going to modify the index routes and the home routes. If you see the index route is its old way of writing and same way i'm going to update for the home routes too so let's uh, try to import that i'm going to replace this with a new way so just give a uh, load children and then this is a fat arrow, fat arrow function and then import so basically here we are going to import the file so this is index now and the login and the login module and then this is actually a standard way of writing and dot then and the module response is like m dot so the login module so this is the way we need to write uh, the same way we need to uh, update it for everyone so that is the new update for angular 8 so make sure syntax should be proper so let me change it quickly yep i updated for this file and if you have any errors like this you can give npm install again delete the node modules and uh, do it again the same thing i'm going to import it for uh, home as well so let's copy this and same syntax i'm going to follow here it is load children and if you look at this you have to copy paste the same one because this is the dynamic routing hope you'll understand if you see the previous videos and i updated both of them uh, so this is the new way of doing it so let's recompile the project again let me kill the project and uh, npm run start again yeah let me run the project now so let me inspect and see with the agri and it is eight and let's see everything looks good and now go to the products the products are coming out and the settings settings got coming out yep uh looks good but now the actual problem is like npm run build 
basically this is actually building the project and it creates a distribution folder to upload into the hosting so basically there is a prod tag so when you do that so npm run build this will trigger that ng build and the prod sometime you will get an error here a kind of like because we updated from 7 to 8 uh, let's see what kind of errors we'll get because the compiler has been updated now so as it's still looking for the old code or new code we need to see yep uh, now everything is successful now uh, if you see the distribution folder uh, the this is what the output file you can directly upload this into your firebase or something and if you have any compiler issues here like uh, sometime like ng update the angular cli sometime it will not work in that case like come to the ts config and cross verify this module should be yes next or or uh, it's a common js sometime it will be like uh, yes 2015 so make sure cross verify these two things if anywhere some other sometime the module will be on the app side it depends on how it picks up so now everything looks good if if you found like es 2015 you just modify it to es next or common lord js that way you will not get any errors yeah this way you can update your existing angular 7 to 8 thanks a lot for watching the video